In this video, we're going to focus on some of the properties and features available within the data grid or the data table. So, what you should understand about data, when you drag any table coming from any data source directly onto the dashboard, it's going to give you a data table. As I resize this, you'll see that it's just my raw data. This is every single column coming from, in this case, my employee details table where it's illustrating who they are, when they started, what department they're in, and how much they're making. So it's just everything we need to know from an HR perspective about our employees. Let's actually size this to fill the screen. You'll notice that on the right hand side there's some white space that's appearing on the side of the table. This is done deliberately. You'll notice that we actually look at the different types of data that are appearing in each column and we're sizing these appropriately. You'll see that salary is pretty much perfectly fit uh, based on what type of information is in here. There is a property, however, if you wanted this data grid to fill the space that you've given it, called Auto Fit Columns to Fill, which you can turn on, and it will disregard some of those intelligent choices that it tries to make. So it's up to you how you want to use it. Now one thing you need to understand about dragging a table directly from a data connector onto the dashboard is that it uses something called raw data retrieval. And as it sounds, it's the raw data exactly as it is in the database. There's no aggregation, there's no grouping, anything like that. So to see what type of data mode you're on, you can go into the data panel and edit the metric set. And you'll see here at the bottom, data retrieval format is set to raw. So whenever you drag a table directly onto the dashboard, you get raw data mode. If you wanted something more complex, you can drag individual metrics onto the dashboard for fields. So I put department on here, I'm going to put employee on here, and then I'm going to add salary. And you'll see here that it's actually grouping now, it's giving me things like totals, so there's a lot more involved. One other thing you should realize is, see how engineering isn't appearing seven, eight times per entry. It's actually grouping them. It's because we're using a special type of column called a row header. So if you take a look at the bindings for this data grid, you'll see that both department and employee are appearing as the row header. So it means that it's automatically gonna to try to group these up. Just a standard column would be our salary. So let's duplicate salary in here. I'm gonna add it again. And as you would expect to see, I get salary twice. The reason I've done this is you can actually change the way the data grid visualizes the data. So if I go to the properties on the right, you'll see that there's two entries in the data grid for salary. If I wanted to open up the second one and change the column type to something else, so perhaps a data bar, you can actually get a visualization showing that information as a bar. So if I customize this, right now you're not seeing it just because of my colors not working out. But let's go into the series and the look, and let's change the fill to something we will see. So now it's black. So I've basically replicated the salary twice and just showing it. And all I had to do was modify my bindings to do this. Another thing you might want to do, I don't think our employees really care about the number of cents they're making uh, for each one of these. So I can probably round this off to the nearest dollar. So if I go to my binding panel, I click on salary, you'll see that there's a format property here. So in my case, N stands for number, and 2 is the number of decimal places. Let's change this. Let's change it to C, meaning currency, and 0 decimal places. You'll see that formats it a lot better. So the data grid, it's meant to be a simple control, it's just there to show you the raw data, but you do have some flair that you can add with these various different types of columns that are available for you. Another thing you should be aware is there's a lot of properties for this, and most of them have to do with appearance. So how is each row looking? What about alternate rows? How are we coloring them? All right, what is the border going to be? All the different cells, the left and right border, the brushes for them. Uh, it's impossible for me to go through every one of these, but just be aware that pretty much any stylistic element of the data grid that you're seeing, you can change. Another one that's very important would be the text properties. So if you want to change the font color, the family, even bolding, uh, 
the entire control, you can do that. Or you can go to main, open up a specific column. So in this case, salary, the first one would be the text that we're seeing. And you'll see yet again that there's text properties here that you can set specifically about this column. So the data table or data grid is something that you really do need to play with. There's a lot of functionality here, but it's also very simplistic.